Hi everyone, welcome to our first Kids Craft Corner. In this series of videos, I will teach you how to turn everyday things into fun, creative crafts. For the first few lessons, we will just be using paper, colored paper, preferably. You may use whatever paper you have at home, cardstock, construction paper, scrapbook paper, doesn't matter. I will also be attaching a list of other items we'll be using in future videos. Most of the items will come from your recycle bin, so start saving. All right, let's get started on our first project. Today, we will be making origami bookmarks. Here are some examples that I've already done. Flower bookmark, just right there on the corner of the page. Bunny bookmark. An octopus. A unicorn. A little mouse bookmark. He's even got a tail. So cute. And even a monster bookmark. You can make all kinds of bookmarks once you learn the basics. Today, I will show you how to make the bunny and octopus bookmarks. For um, origami bookmarks, you will need these materials. Colored paper cut into squares. I cut my paper into five and a half inch squares so that I could get four squares from each eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. But you can make your squares bigger if you would like. You will also need scrap paper, just little pieces of paper of various colors. You will also need a glue stick, scissors, a ruler, a black marker or a black pen, pencil and eraser, googly eyes if you have them. If not, I'll show you how to make eyes out of your paper. And other colored pens for embellishments. Before we begin making our bunny and octopus bookmarks, I want to show you the basic folding pattern that you will use for any of these corner bookmarks that you make. So let me clear my supplies. <clears throat> I am practicing this with just a piece of white computer paper cut into a five and a half inch square. Take your square and fold it in half and into a triangle. Every time we fold, we need to be sure that we crease the fold very well. Okay, now you're gonna take this top corner, fold it until the point of the, the point touches the fold of the paper crease. Now we're going to fold in the left side until the point meets right here. Be sure and crease very, very good. Then do the same thing with your the right side. Fold it in. And crease. Now, unfold your two sides. We're gonna do another fold with this. We're gonna take the, cor the tip of the corner and we're gonna fold it to the top of your paper. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Make sure you crease, fold to the top. Almost done. Now you're going to take these two 
pieces that you just folded to the top and you're going to fold them into this pocket that you just made. So fold one side, make sure it gets down in there. Okay, and then fold the other side and be sure that you crease good. Now you have the base for your bookmark. If you need to practice making the base again, just go back to the video where we started and practice a few more times if you need to. Now I will show you how to make the bunny bookmark. For the bunny bookmark, you will need one square for your base. I'm using blue. You can use whatever color you would like to use for your bunny. That's fine. You will also need a scrap piece of paper that is the same color as your base. You'll need a piece of contrasting paper and I'm using this patterned pink paper for my contrast. Of course, you're going to need your ruler, your scissors, your glue. You'll be using your dark uh, marker, your black marker or pen. Your googly eyes, if you have them. If not, don't worry, I'll, I'll tell you how to make eyes. You're also going to need just a small piece of white um, paper, your pencil, and your eraser. All right, let's get started. I'm going to move off these supplies. I have my square from my base, and we're going to make this just like we practiced. It's going to be a little bit harder because this paper is a little bit thicker, but you can do it. Fold your square into a triangle. Fold the top down till where the point reaches the fold. Fold in your left side. To the point, be sure you really crease. Fold your right side. Crease, crease, crease. Unfold these. Fold the left side up to the top, to the very top, to where it reaches that point. Crease. Same thing with your left side. Folding up to the top of that point. Crease. Now remember, you're going to fold these top pieces into the pocket. You really have to push that down in there and do the other one. that really well and now you have the base for your bunny. The next thing you're going to make for your bunny is the ears. Take your piece of scrap paper that matches your base and fold it in half and you're going to use this to cut out your ears. You can draw your ears first if you want. I'm just going to kind of cut mine out without a pattern. Just like that. Then I'm just going to put it on here and see, oh, maybe that's just a little bit too big. So I'm just going to trim it down just a little bit.
Oh, that's much better. All right. Now you have the back of the ears. You need to cut out the center of the ears. So take your contrasting paper, and if you use this as a guide, what you just cut out, if you use it as a guide, it'll help you get the shape the same. Fold your contrasting paper in half. And for this, you might want to trace your shape. <clears throat> now, of course, the inside of the ears is gonna be smaller than the outside. So you want to cut the same shape, but cut it smaller. And since you folded it, you've already cut two. And I'm gonna fix these because they're a little bit too tall. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, that's much better. Now, take your glue stick and you're gonna glue the inside of your ear to the outside of your ear. Just like that. Just like that. All right. <clears throat> now, you are going to glue the ears to the back of the fold. That means you have to put your glue on the front of the ears. It's kind of strange. So on the bottom of the front, just put a, a good line of glue, just like that. And then glue that ear to the back of your base, just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing with your other ear. And you wanna make sure that they're kind of even, it, you know, close, they don't have to be perfect. Now we're gonna let that dry for just a little bit. While that dries, we're gonna cut out two more pieces. From your contrasting paper, you're going to need a triangle for the nose of your bunny. So I'm just gonna cut a triangle just like that from the corner of the paper. From your white paper, you are just going to need a small rectangle. These are actually going to be the bunny's teeth, which is kind of funny, but this is the way, the easiest way to do it. So you're just gonna cut a rectangle, just like this. And then, I'm gonna put the paper underneath so I don't get it on my work surface. Then you're going to take your marker and your ruler And you're going to just draw a line in the middle of this rectangle. You're just gonna kind of divide the rectangle in half. Just like that. Very easy. All right, so you've cut out your ear and your teeth. Now, we're still waiting for these ears to dry. So while they dry, I'm gonna show you how to make eyes for your bunny if you don't have googly eyes. It's really very easy. Take some of your white paper and fold a piece in half. And then you're just going to cut a small circle
out of that white paper. Now you ended up with two circles, whoops, because you had folded that in half. It's always easier to do two at a time. Then just take those circles and you're just going to color in the dark part of your circles. So if you just kind of make an arc like that, it can be that big, it can be smaller, it doesn't matter. Okay, I think that the ears are probably dry enough for us to continue working on the bunny. So what, I, what you're going to do with your, your rectangle of white is we're going to glue it to the inside of the pocket. So at the top, you don't know which way is top, but on one end, put glue and then tuck that up into the pocket like this. And you're really going to have to hold, oh, the ear fell off, wasn't quite dry enough. You're going to have to hold that for a second so that it will stick before you take your figure out. Okay. And we'll glue the ear back on, don't worry. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I may need to put just a little more glue. Sometimes I use liquid glue, but it's kind of messy. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it on there. Okay. Now we're going to glue on our nose. And it goes on the outside of the pocket. And I have glue on my fingers, but I want to press that down, so I just put the cap back on the glue and I'm just going to hold it like that. If I do it with my fingers, then it's going to come right back up. There we go. Okay. It's time to put on your eyes, so you can glue on the eyes that you made, or you can glue on your googly eyes if you have those. So just put glue, glue, glue. And if you're using googly eyes, you have to press it down, but don't press too hard or you'll push the eye in. All right, and then just let everything dry for about 10 minutes because sometimes this glue, if, if, if it's not dry, um, uh, your things don't stick very well. Okay, and then after a few minutes, you can just pick up your bookmark and there you are. You have finished your first origami bookmark. All right, I'm gonna clean up my work area and then I'll come right back and show you how to make the octopus bookmark. All right. For your octopus bookmark, you will need a square for your base, scrap paper that is the same color as your base, googly eyes or the eyes that you made, then that you made from your white paper, scissors, your glue. and a marker that will show up on your base. I'm hoping that I can use this red marker. If not, then I will um, use the darker marker. All right, so the octopus is actually really easy to make. It looks complicated, but it's very easy and it turns out cute. Here's, here's our example of the octopus. 
Okay, so let's move our supplies. The first thing we're gonna do is make our base, just like we have before. Fold your paper into a triangle. Be sure you crease very well. Fold the top point down to the fold. Fold your left side to that point. Crease. Fold your right point again to that side and crease. And if you don't, if you're not able to crease very well on your own, you can use um, the side of your ruler. That will help you crease. All right, unfold those. Fold the point up. Crease. Fold this point up and crease. And fold these two pieces into the pocket that you just made. And crease. All right, you have your base made. Now we're gonna make our tentacles. So fold your scrap piece of paper in half. And with the fold on top, you, you can draw your tentacles. These do not have to be perfect and they don't all have to be the same. You're going to draw four Okay, so there's one, and I'm gonna just put it on to see about the length. That looks good, I may make one a little bit longer. Okay, and there's my second one. Again, these do not have to be perfect. And there's my third one, and I think I'm going to make this one just a little bit longer. All right. Now, <clears throat> you're going to cut out the four tentacles, but you want to leave them folded. So you can start at the fold, but don't cut here, okay? Just cut along the line that you drew. Just like that, because you you should be able to open up your tentacle like this. So don't cut that fold. All right, and you're gonna continue cutting the next three tentacles. All right, now you have four folded pieces. For your tentacles. All right. <clears throat> so unfold your tentacles. And using the contrasting pen, I think this one's going to work, you're going to draw on the, the suction cups on the, on the tentacles. So you're just gonna draw circles, random circles. They do not all have to be the same size. And they're just random on the tentacles. Whoops.
Okay. Now, you're going to cut your tentacles along the fold. We have four, but an octopus needs eight. So we're gonna just cut each tentacle in half along the fold. Now you're going to glue your tentacles <clears throat> onto the inside of your pocket, just like we did for the teeth of the bunny. I would suggest that you glue four on and then you let those dry and then you glue the remaining four. Otherwise your tentacles start falling off. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute and then we will come back and glue on the other tentacles. All right, let's finish our octopus. We still have four tentacles to glue on. And your tentacles don't all have to be even. I think I might make this one a little bit shorter up in there. So I kind of don't like the look of this one, so I'm just gonna pull it out and trim it off a little bit. It was quite a bit longer than the other ones. So stick that one back in. That looks better. Okay, so now you have the tentacles on your octopus. The only other thing that you need to do for your octopus is glue on the eyes. So you can use your googly eyes or the eyes that you made with your paper. And I'm gonna show you how easy those are to glue on. These are the ones that we practiced on for the bunny. And I'm just gonna glue them with the black pointing up. You can do it black pointing to the side, doesn't matter. And voila, your octopus bookmark is finished. You just finished your second corner bookmark. Easy peasy macaroni cheesy. I sure do hope you enjoyed that. Now you're a pro at making these bookmarks. You can make all kinds of bookmarks for you, your family, and friends. I'm going to attach some pictures of some different types of bookmarks that you can make. And then the next video, I will show you how to make the unicorn and the flower bookmarks. The flower and unicorn bookmarks are a little bit more difficult. So younger kids will probably need their parents' help and it might be appropriate for older kids to do on their own. I hope you come back for our next video and learn how to make the flower and the unicorn bookmarks. See you next time.